What's up guys, this is Pro Warriors. Nowadays, playing console games like PS Vita on an Android phone or tablet is not a big deal. There are a few emulators available that can run PlayStation games on Android phones for free. Such as emulator is Vita 3K. In this video, we are going to cover how to download and install Vita 3K emulator, full setup process, then the best settings and configuration. After that, how to download PS vita rooms and install them on vita 3k emulator please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button Before we begin, let's introduce the Vita 3K emulator. Vita 3K is the world's first open source PlayStation emulator. It can easily run any PS Vita or PS games on your smartphone. The service is completely free to use and the software is designed to support any type of Android phones. First, open a browser on your mobile, then type on the URL bar vita3k.org. I will leave the link in the description. On the vita3k website, click on the three lines at the top right corner, then click on download. This will scroll the page down to the download section where you will find various platforms to download the Vita 3K emulator on your Android phone. Click on the grab from GitHub, then it will take you to the GitHub page. Just scroll down here, you will find the download option. When I was making this video, Vita Android Release 11 was the latest version. It may warn you, but no need to worry about because it's a self site tap on download anyway it will immediately start downloading it's a small app so it will download within a few seconds after downloading the apk install the application and launch the vita 3k emulator on your android phone first select the language you prefer to use this app now vita 3k will ask you to download firmware and front package which are mandatory components for vita 3k if you click on download firmware in new tab will be open and it will take you to the playstation website playstation provides us with the system software click on the download update if it's not responding then right click on it then open a new tab it will start downloading the system software now go back to the vita 3k this time click on download font package it will open a new tab in the chrome browser and start downloading the file it will take few minutes to complete the download you can see i have successfully downloaded the both files now we need to install them gradually to do that click on the install firmware files it will open the file manager on your mobile you will find the both files in the download folder then install them gradually it will take roughly few seconds to install the files now you can click on next button you can customize the interface of a Vita 3K such as icon size, grid mode, info bar visible, etc. If everything seems fine, click on the next button. So we have completed the initial configuration of Vita 3K. Then Vita 3K will welcome you with a big note. Before closing it, make sure you have unticked the show next time option. Vita 3K will encourage you to create a user profile. Just give a name and create a profile. Don't forget to tick on automatic user login then start the vita 3k emulator so finally we are in the vita 3k emulator let's introduce the functions and options of vita 3k before we are going to play any games let's introduce the functions and options of vita 3k emulator there is an option file at the top right corner that option used to install firmware games and licenses it's better to be mentioned you can only install games using pkg and and G format but I prefer to use G format at the middle top board there is a configuration option then click on the settings under the option of core I suggest to use the automatic modules you can also try the manual now switch to the CPU here you have backend renderers dynamic make sure the optimization option is enabled under the option of a GPU you can change the backend to OpenGL or Vulkan you should try Vulkan because it can run 
most of the games it will detect your gpu automatically you can customize the rendering accuracy standard or high vita 3k has the option to set resolution up scale up to 8x which means 4k resolution my recommendation is to use the native display resolution anisotropic filtering set 2x if you enable the fps hacks option it will boost fps up to 60 frames per second there is nothing to do with audio you can change button assignment cross or circle under the option of emulator enable performance overlay if you want to see live fps during gameplay i don't think rest of the option has any potentiality so i would like to leave them as default one more important option i would like to mention that is controls if you don't have any controller no need to worry about because you can use the touch screen controller you have also option to modify gamepad overlay if you have any external controller it will automatically detect the gamepad now it's time to install games on the vita 3k emulator before we are going to install any games at first we have to know which games are compatible that means which games are playable on vita 3k emulator on the vita 3k website they have released a compatible game list here you can see green mark playable games if you want to download any games just to select a game for example dragon ball z then write non pdrm space ps vita that means you have to download the non pdrm ps vita g file you can say non pdrm ps vita is the format name sorry to say that i can't share any direct links here due to youtube community guidelines you can join our discord server for more information you can see i have downloaded few roms and stored them in a dedicated folder now go back to the vita 3k emulator click on the file then install zip after that you have to select the game file from your internal storage it will take roughly three to five minutes to complete the installation you can see the list of the games you have installed on vita 3k emulator and it's ready to play as you can see i'm playing vita 3k games on my android phone surprisingly the vita 3k emulator runs ps vita games very smoothly with decent fps if you think this video is useful please like and subscribe to our channel no more today see you in the next video take care